January 6, 2024, the Indian Space Research Organization (ISRO) successfully placed the Aditya L1 spacecraft into its final destination orbit, some 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth. Prime Minister Narendra Modi tweeted. India creates yet another landmark. India's first solo observatory, Aditya L1, reaches its destination. It's a testament to the relentless dedication of our scientists in realizing one of the most complex and intricate space missions. I join the nation in applauding this extraordinary feat. We will continue to pursue new frontiers of science for the benefits of humanity. End quote. So it is very satisfying for us uh, because. Uh, uh, it is the end of a long journey, 126 days from liftoff to now, it has reached the final point. So reaching the final point is always a, an anxious moment, but we were very sure about it. So it happened as predicted. So we are very happy. Aditya L1 is the first Indian observatory dedicated to studying the sun from space. It has been equipped with seven distinct payloads, five of which were developed by ISRO and two by Indian Academic Institutes in collaboration with ISRO. The strategic placement at the L1 Lagrange point ensures that Aditya L1 can maintain a constant uninterrupted view of the sun. This location also allows the satellite to access solar radiation and magnetic storms before Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere influence them. Aditya L1's mission is to expand our knowledge of the sun including how its radiation, heat, flow of particles and magnetic field affects us. It will study the upper atmospheric layers of the sun called chromosphere and corona, examine coronal mass ejections CMEs, analyze the corona's magnetic field and the driver of space weather, and understand why the sun's corona is a million degrees Celsius hot when the temperature on the surface of the sun is just 5500 degrees. Aditya L1 has been equipped with several payloads to achieve these objectives. The Visible Emission Line Chronograph payload studies the solar corona and dynamics of the coronal mass ejections. The Solar Ultraviolet Imaging Telescope suit payload images the solar photosphere and chromosphere in near ultraviolet and also measures the solar irradiance variation in near UV. The Aditya Solar Wind Particle Experiment aspects and plasma analyzer package of Aditya PAPA payloads study the solar wind and energetic ions, as well as energy distribution. The solar low energy X-ray spectrometer SOLEX and high energy L1 orbiting X-ray spectrometer HEL1 OS study the X-ray flares of the sun over a wide X-ray energy range. The magnetometer payload is capable of measuring interplanetary magnetic field at the L1 point. So the Aditya L1 will remain approximately 1.5 million kilometers away from the Earth, directed towards the Sun. The satellite will study the outer atmosphere of the Sun, but will neither land on the Sun nor approach the Sun any closer. The mission is a landmark achievement for India and it will provide valuable insights into the Sun's behavior and its impact on our planet and beyond.